Good evening, actually, it's pretty close to good night, everyone. Um, I'm going to go to the opposite side of the spectrum. Uh, Santosh talked about security and hacking. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, design. Uh, and more specifically, uh, I want to share with you a thought that cropped up in my mind uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, when I read a designer's rant about uh, the current state of web typography. Um, and if you're wondering what does it has to do with the uh, testing, well, that's what the next five minutes are about. <laughs> so, when I think uh, most of us have quite different images in our heads um, when we think about designers and testers, um, and the picture on the screen is a pretty good reflection of what's in my mind when I think about designers and testers. Um, and I think the designer part covers pretty well all kinds of designers, whether it's uh, experience designers or user interface designers or graphic designers, again, that's at least how it works in my mind. Uh, but the thing is, design is everywhere and whenever you are interacting with something that's man-made, um, <clears throat> there is some kind of intent and some kind of design in the thing that you're actually interacting with. And whether you're delighted by the design of the thing you're using, be it an iPhone or a Ferrari or whatever, or uh, maybe at the opposite end of the spectrum, you just don't notice it at all. You don't notice the design of the door handles in your home. Um, just uh, as design can be very noticeable or not at all, what sometimes happens is that the intent of the designer uh, is actually a conscious decision uh, or is just a byproduct uh, of a person actually building the stuff that you are now using. So the problem with this kind of unintentional, what I call unintentional design or uh, non-deliberate design is that nobody is consciously thinking about it. Maybe I'm stating the obvious, but if it's unintentional, uh, the person that is producing this design never paid a thought to it. Uh, and this, is, this usually happens because in such cases, the person that is doing the design isn't a person that has designer in their job title. Isn't somebody that even ever thinking about design. And in such cases, the design of the thing you're using uh, is usually driven either by gut feeling or experience or who knows what else. Uh, but if you think about it, uh, at the other half of my previous slide, uh, whatever your definition for a tester is, uh, I bet it has to do something with users and something with the product that you're working on. Um, and since design is something that affects user, users and testers by definition know a lot about users and the product, I think testers are uh, very well positioned to at least start talking about design. Uh, and I don't necessarily mean you have to start learning wo words like Fuchsia or kerning or Bezier curves. Um, because even if you're working in banking or you're working in a team that is building a JavaScript API or an internal tool that has a command line interface, those things will be used by other people. Um, and we as testers, can and should think about how those people will use the things that we are contributing to being built. Because 
we already know uh, the product and also the users and their use cases. And if we've been on the product for a while, we also know our users' problems and gripes with the, pro with the, with the product. And just as quality isn't just a tester's job, I mean, I know I don't like it when people tell, yeah, you know, no, I'm a developer, I don't care about quality, that's your job title, that's your job, you do quality. I will do development. Uh, and just as we testers don't like being told quality is just your job, not my job, uh, I think design shouldn't be just a designer's job. I think it can and should be everyone's job. And we as a testers are best positioned to start a discussion uh, about it. We can help people turn uh, unintentional design into a topic that's at least up for debate. Uh, thank you, and in case you were wondering, I'm Mihai. <laughs> If you have any questions, I'm here. Otherwise, I will pass the button to whoever is next. Thank you.